Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 583, Take My Life That I May Be. Let me uh, share with you four facts about this hymn. First of all, the text was found in a collection called Culto Cristiano in 1964. Second, the text was compiled uh, from the Havergal text by a Methodist pastor from Mexico, Vincente Mendoza. Hope I said that right. Thirdly, the Havergal text uh, is lined up or composed and written in 12 couplets and it lines it up as a list. Take all of us, the life, the moments, the hands, the feet, the voice. There's a meditation on each one by Francis and instead what we have here from Mendoza is a swirling dance. The order makes no difference and all of these are combined together. So it's a neat way of viewing them. Uh, not just building upon, but we're constantly giving those to God are encouraging God to take all of them. And lastly, it's in the Garacha style. So uh, well, the tune by William Dexheimer Ferris, who actually heard the text in El Salvador, he set this in the Garacha style, and he, it's an upbeat tempo, picaresque or picaresque lyrics, where there's, and what that means is it's an episodic fiction dealing with a rough, dishonest hero. And this music was often played in music theaters and salons. So you can see, I think, at least I can, how this relates to us as Christians, because we're talking about a rough, dishonest text. Take my life that I may be. Take my silver and my gold. Uh, we're trying to be truthful and giving that and asking God, we're surrendering that. But the whole time, the hero is there, and that's Jesus Christ. So here we go. Take my life that I may be. little fun tune, isn't it? Uh, Take my life that I may be. And I like that swirling dance effect. So it, it gives us the chance to remind us of as we give that, we have that hero, we have Jesus um, right there waiting the entire time. I do want to give credit because I used a wonderful arrangement. I think that is good for congregational singing. Uh, I edited it a bit, but that most of the arrangement is by Rachel Trellstad Porter. So thank you to her for creating such a great congregational arrangement. And thank you all for listening to Him of the Week.